You know me. As I say all the time, after these brutal days, I like to fall back on the kind of secular growth story doesn't need an <laughs> doesn't end with a trade war. I'm talking about the cell tower stocks, a group that's getting a fabulous boost as telco carriers worldwide start rolling out 5G, the next generation of even faster wireless, which requires a lot more infrastructure. Take American Tower, AMT, the largest player in the space. They're all organized as real estate investment trusts or REITs with nice dividends. Oh, this one only yields 1.7%, but you know what? That's not because it doesn't pay out a lot. It's because it's been such a winner. I love this industry because once you put up a tower, you can sell antenna space to multiple customers. Yesterday morning, American Tower reported a fantastic quarter, bringing in $2.04 per share in funds from operations. Wall Street's only looking for buck ninety, higher than expected revenue, up 6%. However, because the margins are so great, that translates to a 38% increase in profits. While the stock has only rallied about 4% since I last recommended it in May, I've recommended it over and over again. It's nearly at 34% year to date. So can it keep climbing? Let's talk to James Tinklett. He is the chairman, president, and CEO of American Tower. We've been behind him the whole way. Find out more about the quarter of his company's prospects. Mr. Tinklett, welcome back to Man Money. Great to see you, sir. Great to see you, Jim. When your stock was probably one-tenth of where it is, you came on and told us mm-hmm. about the great story that people need to know. A lot of doubters, but you beat every single one of them. I'm going to start with what you did in the conference school. I want people to know that even though it says American Tower, it's really International Tower. Unbelievable growth overseas. Yeah, it's um, a global business. There's two things that are truly global in nature. One is the technology. The physics for radio frequency spectrum and its transmission are the same all around the world. And it's people is the other thing. It's the same all around the world. They want to do three things as much as they can. Communicate with each other, Mm -hmm. send data back and forth, you know, book airline tickets, send emails, et cetera. And then finally get entertained if they can. TV, social media, et cetera. And the mobile industry is enabling that all around the world. Well, one of the things that I, when people say, Jim, Africa's a growth growth continent. Uh, I want to buy this African stock or that. I always say buy American Tower because they also, uh, when they do a deal, it's backed up immediately. There's no real risk associated with it. Yeah, even in some of our countries, we get dollar-denominated contracts along the way. Uh, We also demand high internal rate of return. So we'll, you know, really bargain hard on the asset pricing to get the right basis so we can get the return that we need. And some of these countries, you've taught us, but I want people who haven't heard you, a lot of these countries skipped over wireline. And they're just wireless countries, right? Absolutely. And India is well on its right. way to doing this. Uh, you've probably heard of Prime Minister Modi's Digital India Initiative, where he really wants to just bypass the entire wired phase of those three things, communication, right. data transmission, and entertainment. And there are four very competitive companies in that market now, big enough to do that with the capital to do it, and we're working with them right now. Yeah, the internal rate of return, again, you've really researched this over a long period of time. United States, you start uh, saying something that you have said the whole time, which is that consolidation not only is not bad, but in this particular case, the uh, advancement of DISH into this, where they have to build out big. The I know you're, there's, it's, a, it's in flux. You didn't spend too much time on talking about it, but the United States with this new regime could be very good for you. It could be very, very good for our company, right. but I think it's very, very good for the country also, potentially, because what this agreement between the Justice Department, Sprint T-Mobile, and DISH has done, we think, is to position the United States for true leadership and accelerate that leadership for 5G. At the same time, they brought in a disruptive new player in DISH who's going to benefit the consumer all along the way. So I think it's really a great combination for the country. It's going to be excellent for our company as well, but it's a good uh, initiative all around, we think. I would imagine one of the first calls DISH has to make is to you because they don't have any of the space that they need. Well, we have been well in touch okay. with Charlie Ergen and his team for years Okay. because they've owned and operated wireless spectrum. They've had to have their licenses preserved. They've deployed for that. They're in the middle of an Internet of Things deployment that right. they're actually going to segue into a full 5G deployment. So we're already in touch with that team. Uh, and have been for years, and we expect to work with them closely. Okay, so talk to me about 5G and and what it means for American Tower. So what it means for us is that uh, while 4G is still here to take up the 30% per per year growth in the data that's being used today by Americans, uh, 5G is going to be able to give you more throughput, better signal, uh, much faster latency or signaling time, which enables automated automotive uh, vehicles, automated drones, and things at scale. So it's going to be a game changer for society, really. 
But it's going to be a big investment. It's going to be a wholesale transition from a 4G technology to a fifth generation technology. It's going to take, generally, these take about seven to 10 years to do. But the sites are going to need to be closer together. There's going to be more equipment out there transmitting. And so, again, it should be something that lengthens and strengthens our growth rate, not in the U.S. only, but around the world eventually. Well, one last question. Uh, through the whole time that we've been recommending your stock, the, the yield looks low for real estate investment trust, but that's because it's been such a great stock. But you keep raising the dividend. Yeah, our board has been comfortable and our CFO has been advocating and still does 20 percent annual increase in dividend along the way. And that's what we've delivered or above. Yeah, because in that sense, if interest rates are going lower, American Tower is still a terrific play. Well, we like to think so. And that's what our strategy is designed to do. Jim. Excellent. That's Jim Takeley. He's the chairman, president and CEO of American Tower. First year of this show, we recommended AMT. We've been behind it the whole way. Thank you, Jim. You're welcome. Yeah. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.